close your eyes and step into a world unlike the one you know. A world where there is no Atlantic, Pacific, or Indian Ocean dividing the continents. Where Earth is dominated by a single, colossal supercontinent, Pangaea. Imagine all of humanity living on one interconnected landmass. All our civilizations bound together by proximity rather than separated by vast oceans. This isn't just a story of geology. It's a journey through an alternate history that could reshape everything we know about climate, evolution, and human culture. What would our planet look like if Pangaea never broke apart? How would life, weather, and the destiny of humankind unfold on a unified Earth? Today, we're diving into this incredible thought experiment. Join us as we explore the climate extremes of this supercontinent, the impact on biodiversity, the challenges of living on such a landmass, and the ripple effects on civilizations throughout history. This is more than science. It's a reimagining of our place in the universe. Get ready to discover a world where the Earth's map is a single piece of history frozen in time. To understand this alternate reality, we need to first look back in time, over 300 million years ago, to when Pangaea was the reality. Imagine Earth's landmasses fused into one giant continent, surrounded by a single, vast ocean called Panthalassa. It was a world of extremes. Towering mountain ranges, sprawling deserts, and lush coastal forests that stretched for thousands of miles. But why did Pangaea exist in the first place? The answer lies in the slow, constant movement of Earth's tectonic plates. These massive slabs of rock float on the molten mantle below, colliding and drifting apart over millions of years. Pangaea was the result of these plates converging into one unified landmass, but the forces of plate tectonics didn't stop there. Around 175 million years ago, Pangaea began to split apart, forming the continents we know today. The separation of landmasses had profound effects on Earth's climate, ecosystems, and the evolution of life itself. But if that breakup never happened, what would our world be like? To find out, let's start by exploring the supercontinent's climate. On today's Earth, the distribution of continents and oceans creates a delicate balance of weather patterns, ocean currents, and atmospheric systems. But on a planet dominated by one giant landmass like Pangaea, the climate would be anything but balanced. The interior of Pangaea would be a hostile environment. Without nearby oceans to moderate temperatures, these regions would likely become vast, barren deserts. Days would bring blistering heat, while nights would plunge into freezing cold. Imagine an endless Sahara, stretching for thousands of miles across the heart of the supercontinent. Meanwhile, the coastal areas, bordered by the vast Panthalassa Ocean, might enjoy milder weather but they wouldn't escape extremes. Monsoons could batter the coast relentlessly, bringing torrential rains that last for weeks or even months. Hurricanes, fueled by the warm waters of the surrounding ocean, might grow to unimaginable sizes, devastating everything in their paths. On a unified Pangaea, Earth's weather wouldn't just be unpredictable. It would be a force of nature on a scale we can barely comprehend. Would life be able to adapt to such a planet? Or would these extreme conditions limit the diversity and spread of species? One of the most remarkable aspects of our planet is its biodiversity, the incredible variety of life that has evolved over millions of years. But this diversity exists in part because of the isolation created by drifting continents. Think about it. When Pangaea broke apart, species were stranded on separate landmasses, evolving independently and adapting to their unique environments. This process gave us everything from Australia's kangaroos to Madagascar's lemurs. 
It's why polar bears roam the Arctic and penguins thrive in Antarctica. But if Pangaea never split, this isolation wouldn't exist. Species would compete on a single landmass, leading to a very different evolutionary story. Apex predators might dominate vast territories, outcompeting smaller species and reducing biodiversity. Without geographic barriers like oceans and mountain ranges, the balance of ecosystems could shift dramatically. Marine life would also be affected. The separation of continents creates a variety of marine environments, shallow seas, coral reefs, and deep ocean trenches. On a planet dominated by a single ocean, Panthalassa, the diversity of marine habitats might be far more limited. Entire ecosystems we know today might never have existed. Now let's turn to us, humans. How would civilization have developed on a planet where all land was connected? For starters, the absence of oceans separating continents would make the spread of humanity much easier. Early humans might have migrated across Pangaea's vast expanse more quickly, leading to interconnected cultures and societies from the very beginning. Trade routes could stretch for thousands of miles, linking distant regions with shared knowledge, resources, and technologies. But would a unified landmass bring unity to humanity? Or would natural barriers like deserts, mountains, and rivers still isolate communities, fostering rivalries and conflict? Imagine the political map of such a world. Would there be one dominant superpower controlling the entire supercontinent? Or would countless smaller nations compete for resources and influence? The absence of a new world to discover might also mean fewer opportunities for expansion, intensifying competition over land and wealth. Culturally, this alternate reality might look very different. The shared proximity of civilizations could lead to earlier technological advancements, but it might also limit the diversity of traditions and languages that make our world so rich today. Would humanity thrive in this interconnected world, or would the challenges of living on Pangaea push us to the brink? The breakup of Pangaea didn't just shape the land, it shaped the planet itself. Tectonic activity drives the creation of mountains, the recycling of carbon dioxide, and the regulation of Earth's climate. Without the breakup of Pangaea, this process would slow dramatically. Over time, the towering mountains formed by plate collisions might erode without new ones taking their place. Carbon recycling, driven by tectonic activity, could diminish potentially plunging the planet into prolonged ice ages. Conversely, volcanic activity in certain regions could continue unabated, creating localized extremes of heat and toxicity. Earth's geological rhythms would be profoundly altered, with consequences that ripple through every aspect of life. So, what if Pangaea never broke apart? It would be a planet of extremes, where life Weather and humanity are shaped by the unique challenges of a supercontinent. While some aspects of this alternate reality might seem like paradise, others reveal the harsh realities of living on a planet dominated by one landmass. As we imagine this world, we gain a deeper appreciation for the one we inhabit, a world of diversity, change, and endless possibility. The story of Pangaea is a reminder that Earth is a living, evolving planet, and that change, no matter how disruptive, often paves the way for new opportunities. What do you think life would be like on a unified Pangaea? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more explorations of science, history, and imagination. Until next time, Keep dreaming of the extraordinary possibilities of our universe.